The Jonathan Majors drama unfortunately continues. And of course, Jonathan Majors, who is a remarkable actor, absolutely phenomenal actor. I love seeing him on screen. But his skyrocketing career quickly came crashing down, of course, last year when charges got filed against him. Uh, the court case then happened. He was found guilty on two of the lesser charges and acquitted on a couple of the more major charges. And we all thought, at least I did, that, okay, yeah, he's going to take some lumps right now. And he did. He lost out on Kang. He lost out on a couple of contracts, lost out on a couple of projects. But I believe because he was kind of acquitted on the more major crimes that he was charged with, that eventually he'll be able to get everything going again. Well, that might be sidelined a bit. Because according to now reports, his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, who was the principal involved with the criminal case, is now taking him to court personally for assault and defamation. Uh, this comes to us from the folks who are Variety. I'm going to read this a little bit, a couple of the paragraphs here, because I think this is important stuff. Variety writes the following. During one incident in Los Angeles in 2022, Jabari's lawsuit alleges that Majors became angry with Grace. She became afraid and instinctively uh, tried to calm him down. Majors began shouting in Grace's face and grabbed both her arms, pinning them to her body. He then shoved her into the shower door, causing the door to swing open. He then threw her body into the shower wall, causing her head to hit the wall. When Grace tried to escape, things escalated. In an effort to stop the abuse, Grace informed Majors that she was going to have to inform his team of what he had done to her, at which point Majors began throwing candles and other objects in a frenzied state, denting the walls and leaving glass shattered on the floor. During another incident in London of 2022, the lawsuit claims Majors pushed Grace so hard that it bruised her backside. When Grace got up, she attempted to leave the house. Majors picked up Grace in the air and threw her against the hood of the car. Grace began shouting for help. Majors then forcibly grabbed Grace, placing her in a headlock and put his hand over her mouth to prevent someone from hearing her cries for help. He brought Grace back to their house and he held his hands around her neck, stating that he wanted to kill her and that he was going to kill her. Majors then started hitting Grace's head against the marble floor while strangling her until she felt she could no longer breathe. The lawsuit also includes text messages between the couple in which Majors dissuaded Jabari from seeking medical help and threatened to kill himself. Parts of these texts were used in the December of 2023 trial, though they were only allowed as background information and not evidence related to the March 2023 altercation. Now, it goes on to talk about how uh, after following another incident, she did follow through on what she said she was going to do and contacted his representation, contacted his team. What's he, he then found out about it. The allegations say he then got abusive again when he found he was outraged when she did inform his team uh, about what was going on and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, two very important things that we need to keep in mind when reading these reports. Number one is, and this is probably most important. These are allegations. These are not proven facts. This has not been vetted by a court or a trial or a jury. By any case, these are reports alleged in the complaint. Okay? that So we should not necessarily, we don't dismiss them, but we don't assume there are facts at this point either. These are allegations. we got to keep that in mind. The second important thing to keep in mind is that... Um, there are parts of this that are, like it said in the story, that do relate back to the criminal case that happened, like things like text message and tech messages and things like that. We we all read the some rather disturbing things that Jonathan Majors had texted to her before and and stuff like that and whatever. That does not mean we should assume guilt, though. Let's let's keep that in mind. I normally don't care about the criminal life lawsuits and stuff like that about any of the celebrities, except for when it comes to does this materially alter the course of what movies we may or may not see. Jonathan Majors, I have no hesitation in saying one of my favorite on-screen performers. The, the dude is has talent oozing out of his pores. He's so good and he's so believable when he, and he has such a presence on screen that even when he's in something not so good, <laughs> man in the Wasp Quantumania, he makes his scenes memorable, even if Ant-Man's punching him in the face. But And I I have felt since the criminal trial got s finished that at some point, maybe a couple months, maybe a year or two, maybe even three years, but at some point he would be able to come back because he wasn't found guilty of the more major crimes. I say all that just to set this up. If this does go to trial and he loses this, I think he's done. 
Like, I, I think he can come back from the December trial. I think he can come back from that, again, because he was only found guilty on the more minor things. And I did an entire video really laying out what was it exactly he was found guilty of and what was he found not guilty of. And because of that, I thought he'll take his hits, but eventually he can come back. If he loses this, and I'm not suggesting he will lose, okay? I'm not suggesting he will. I don't think he comes back from this. I, I don't think anybody touches him with a 100-foot pole if he does. If he, can, if he wins this then I think his comeback can still be off in the future and still happen. Anyway, Rob, uh, you saw the report come out in Variety and The Hollywood Reporter did a piece on it as well. Uh, how vital is this to Jonathan Majors right now? Well, like you, I mean, I really, really love Jonathan Majors as a performer and, you know, people's personal lives are very complicated, especially when they're in the public eye. And I, I've always said to people, you can never know what's going on in a person's relationship unless you're in that relationship and you're not, so you don't actually know everything. These are very disturbing allegations and um, you know, I don't, I don't have much to say about uh, another person's personal life when I don't know anything about it, but it is unfortunate. And it's, so, it, it's such a bummer to see such a great creative presence uh, somebody that I admired, somebody that I looked up to, somebody that I really, really loved, and uh, their performances—they never, they never gave anything but a hundred percent. And it's sad to see what might be a great creative life curtailed early. But you know, part of leading a good life is you have to be a good person on and off the screen, and uh, it's unfortunate. I, I hope that justice prevails, and. Um, that everybody is satisfied at the end and that maybe we could see Jonathan Majors come back someday and and give us more of his tremendous talent. But if such is the case, like you said, if these allegations are proven and there's some kind of a trial, a criminal trial or something, I don't think he comes back from it either because who's going to hire him? How do you get somebody insured? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's the big thing right now. And uh, again, we, we make no claims here about whether we think he is is completely should be exonerated of this or if he should be held accountable that's not our concern here our concern here is just simply telling you guys this is what's happening and if it goes one way i think his career can continue if it goes another way i don't know that it can guys we want to thank a sponsor of today's video better help guys it's a brand new year and a lot of people are making new year's resolutions you know things they want to change about themselves but i've always believed that it's also equally as important to identify the things we're doing well and building on those and therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick i've always believed that nothing impacts our daily performance in our jobs our hobbies our relationships like our mental health and i've also said for a long time that it's about time that we stop just putting emphasis on improving our physical health by getting out to the gym, but also by putting emphasis on improving our mental health as well. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash campia. Anyway, guys, whatever you think about this whole thing, go ahead and jump down to the comments and let us know what you guys think. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.